water stuff. In this second episode of Water Stuff, we visit one of my favourite spots where some lovely old bridges cross shallow water in a picturesque, historic English village setting. The location is Wycollar, a site tracing back at least 3,000 years. Wycollar originally had various dairy farms. These expanded after deforestation in the 16th century and moved into some handloom weaving in the 18th. By the mid-19th century, in common with a lot of smaller settlements in England, most white-collar villagers had moved to towns or cities to find work in textile mills. White-collar's population shrank. It remains a very small village today. White-collar was apparently known as the Valley of the Seven Bridges. You can see two of these in this video. The several hundred-year-old Clapper Bridge, and the 13th century Pack Horse Bridge. The Pack Horse Bridge is in the 1970 film The Railway Children, and actress Jenny Agata's character sits on it briefly. Access to Wycollar Village is on foot except for residents. It's a fairly long but pleasant walk from the nearby car park to the village. You pass a small shop and restroom and lots of areas where children can play. It's also possible to walk across the shallow stream in the centre of the village and over the two bridges. The ruins of Wycollar Hall in the centre of the village may be the setting for Charlotte Bronte's Ferndean Manor, the home of Mr Rochester in Jane Eyre. The hall is believed to have been built around 1550. You can carefully walk through its ruins. Next to the hall is Eyelid Barn, adapted from an older barn around 1630. The barn was used for threshing locally grown corn. Inside the barn are many information displays about the site, including about the bridges. The barn also has an amazing wooden roof support structure. Nearby there's a series of steps up to some vaccary stone walls. Again very old and quite unusual, possibly 800 years um, old or so. Wycollar is a lovely place to visit and intriguingly was actually owned by the local public water utility, the Water Board, for some time, up until around 1972 or 1973. But currently it's actually under threat of partial closure. The Friends of Wycollar organisation is trying to raise awareness that much of the Wycollar Country Park site may become inaccessible if planned cuts to local management, maintenance and ranger services go ahead next year in 2018. So feel free to visit their website to find out more. So I hope you've enjoyed this look at Y Collar and we'll see you in the next episode. Mm -hmm.